As you can see, we always cast a joint between our precast box culvert units. Uh, the joint is both one end of the, of the culvert and the other end are cast with a certain profile when it's finished that when the units are actually slid together, they'll sock it in to form that joint. Now the purpose of this joint principally is due to the fact that for transportation considerations, we can't cast a 20, 30 meter length of culvert clearly. So generally we're limited to a two or three meter, two to three meter length of box culvert that we can cast in one go. So the purpose, the main purpose of the joints is to allow for a shear connection between those individual two or three meter length units of the box culvert. Now, the other benefit of having a joint as well is when the culverts are actually laid in the ground, you're never going to have a perfect formation condition. So there's always the potential for a bit of differential settlement of the material below the base slab of the box culverts. So the fact that we've got a joint that allows for rotation every couple of meters essentially minimizes or really eliminates the negative effects of that differential settlement. The joints themselves will actually rotate. So these are essentially free to move in, in, in moment. They're free to move in rotation, but yet they do apply a shear connection. So when you do have differential settlement, one unit is free to rotate to the other to prevent moment and shear from developing in the unit, but yet you're not going to get one unit dropping relative to the other unit and creating a vertical gap. So that joint allows for the rotation due to differential settlement, yet keeps a clean surface, a clean line from one culvert unit to the next. And it should be noted as well too that the units will be sealed as well. The culvert, the joints will always be sealed in order to prevent ingress of water into the interior of the box culvert.